Page, page, what's going on? This is Stutch coming at you with Prison Riot Radio. And I got a special treat for anybody out there. Queen in the game for a long time. Really been a part of the struggle. Sue Hamster, how you doing? I'm good. Happy to hear from you. Absolutely, absolutely, man. I've been, you know, for years, man, you've been, you've, you've always been a part of the struggle, helping to get brothers and sisters' voices out there. And, you know, in a, in a very small way, man, you know, we try to come behind you and what you've been doing for, for all these years. So I want to get started with asking you, how did you get started in, 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 in publishing the, the, the voice of the incarcerated? Well, to be honest with you, I was working at Don Diva first. Um, Don Diva was a record company. I don't know if people know that. I got hired as an A&R uh, here. Uh, me and Tiffany were right. best friends at the time. She, had, she was fresh off of work as a Rough Rider. Somebody came to her with a proposition to start another record company. So she pulled me on board for that. We went to How Can I Be Down down in Miami, which was like a big music convention back then. That was like 1999. And um, right. we started uh, Kevin Childs, who was her husband. You know, she was incarcerated at the time. So she he gave her a, a marketing plan, put all your artists in a picture book alongside all these gangsters from Harlem, um, the New York area. Right. And people are just going to want to see this 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 thing and be like okay so you know our, we, we basically was trying to certify our gangster rap our gangster artists we was trying right. to, you know right. we get there with this what looked like a magazine to everybody it was just a picture book had pictures of kevin in there everybody um rich porter everybody right. so um we we get back to the office after doing the convention and everybody's blowing up the office phone yeah we want a subscription to the magazine i'm like what are they talking to me like what are they talking we both sitting that they're looking at each other and at the time it was just me and her right right so we like what they talk. She's like they talking about the picture book. They talking about the picture. book. We kept calling it the picture book. So you know we went back to Kevin about it like that. We ain't getting no love on the music, but they sure is liking these pictures. So right. then we started. Right. So I was always a writer. So Tiffany was like, well, let's try something. Um, so we were in touch with at the time with uh, oh God, it was one of our first stories, Akbar Prey, and we were in touch with um, oh my God, I feel so, so disrespectful not name, remembering his name right now. Um, Junior Black. Mafia, Aaron Jones, Aaron Jones. Okay. And so we, those were the first two stories we did. Um, and, and during that process, just, just, you know, just starting and creating a whole network with everyone incarcerated. And of course, of course Kevin was in the feds, so his hands were a little longer than people that are in the state. Right. So um, he just, he just really, really got us out there. People started writing to us. And then eventually some manuscripts would come in. And I'd be looking at them like, these are retarded. Um, <laughs> I couldn't get with a lot of them. And uh, part of this story, to be honest with you, was meeting Terry Woods. Terry Woods hanging out with me and Tiffany. And she was like, okay. Sue, I'm doing this book. We are like, okay. I got her on the Queen Latifah show um, because they were trying to do a story on Tiffany. They wanted Tiffany to talk about her relationship with Ted. So we were like, yo, how about we plug it with, with Terry Woods instead? Have Terry go up there and plug the book. So Terry went on there and right. her book, and that's really where it jumped off for her. And then she came back and told me, she was like, yo, okay. that's this dude named Kwame T. And she started telling me about you. <laughs> and, and I saw her hustle. And I'm like, yo, I might can do it. I really was watching Terry hustle. I saw her on the corner of Harlem selling books out of her car. She right. was, she's a hustling queen. She really is. She is, so, absolutely. absolutely. So, so I, um, I, I then started getting decent, more decent manuscripts. Joe Black came in, who goes by Chip Bully now. And he did, you know, I did the book Street Team with him, squeezed with him. Uh, but and then when he got out of jail, he forgot all about writing. He went straight to the casino. He's oh. like a big time poker champ now. Um, so, oh wow, okay. Yeah. So um, not only was I publishing books, but I became a book distributor for those that were incarcerated. So the Seth for aunties, um, he distributed through me at the time. Um, I had little flyers going through all the prisons all across the country and making them order the books for me. This is before Amazon. <laughs> so, right, um, right, right. So, yeah. Well. yeah, so 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 that's where I started with it. But I've always been writing to, uh, you know, the articles that I've been writing, and I've always been stepping forth to, to really make sure that all the talents that are incarcerated get heard, the injustices with, for those that are incarcerated get heard. Um, it's Absolutely. just important to just keep our people out there because this is a this is a big unit of our black community that are incarcerated. It's just the mass incarceration is ridiculous. I looked at the movie, um, the Thirteenth documentary on uh, Netflix. Right, the Thirteenth. Powerful, 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 and it, it just, right. I just encourage people to look at stuff like that. Even the Attica uh, documentary that they got going on now. But you know, my fight has always been for those um, incarcerated because it's just it's a reflection of our people. Period. Like I don't, I don't. The time's got to fit the crimes. That's number one. And then, 
you know, our people aren't as advanced. Well, I won't say advanced. That's not the word. Are aren't as, as advantaged as um. Exactly. No, right. No. We're not born That's into true. privilege. We're not born into privilege. So, right. for me, it's just you know, I came across story of of pawn story, and what I did realize, you know, gentlemen, there's so many gentlemen like you that just have powerful, powerful brains that, you know, if, if not in their situation, they would just, and you, you're you doing it even from your situation. So I just always read, like, people like Akbar Prey, and, you know, I just talk to them on the phone, and I hear how brilliant they are, and they, they would, I give a lot of credit right. to, to the brothers incarcerated, but they build, they built me up a lot, you know, they plugged me a lot. Absolutely. Um, and, Absolutely. Uh, and they, they gave me a lot, a lot of knowledge. Even J.M. Benjamin, when I went to go see him, he was in Fort Dix. Um, he wanted me to do his book. And, and, and just just the game plan he had, I'm listening to him like, right. wait, who, who is the boss here? <laughs> you know, but when you're boss, you only know how to be a boss, right? Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. When you when you first It's at Don Diva Sue, D O N D I V A Sue, okay. S U E. Um, they could just hit me up on the IG for now. Um, and then I'll, I'll okay. you know, I'll, I'll small talk with them and we see where we can go from there. Um, I'm, I'm really okay. looking for, I'm really looking for some, some street stuff, but I'm also looking for uh, sort of textbook stuff, some, some stuff that people need to learn from and understand, like, you know, where they could teach right. the youth. I'm looking for stuff like that. Okay. Um, what, what got me back in the game recently was La Brim. Um, he caught my attention. Right. He just has a he just has a huge presence, a huge following, and just reminded me of brothers like Akbar and Eric Bozeman that just have just a strong intelligence and, and, and a natural leadership, right? Just natural right. boss mentality, natural leadership. So he really, really intrigued me, and he's a man of God. And so he just... You know, he, he, he leads with that first, but he's so smart. He's really smart. And then I saw his book, and then I said, okay, you know, it's about, um, it's, it's a spiritual book. Um, but he has okay. written so many other things. He's, he's, he has gangster stuff that he's written, but he said, I lead with God first. So this is going to be his first book that he's putting out, Making My Wrongs Right. Making Your Wrongs Right, right. is the name of the book. So Making Your Wrongs Right, right is going to be the first book I, I, I come back out with. Um, in this new era now. So we got to do the whole social media thing. And, you know, it's a different route than before. You know that. <laughs> right, absolutely. I would definitely. Yeah, and I spoke absolutely. to Mrs. Turner before yeah. this call. She said, tell him why he all over the place. He more all over the place than us out here. That's what she told me to tell you. Tell <laughs> sis, <laughs> I said my love, man. Tell I said my love, man. We moving forward. We just, it's just beautiful to know that, like I said, to have you back in the game because you're so needed. Like we need our voice heard out there, and individuals like we get. Sometimes we get manuscripts as well, and so like you know when people start sending us manuscripts, I'll definitely link with you and ask you what you think about it. You know, send you a couple of pages or whatever. But That's these true. individuals, man, need to be heard because you know sometimes they don't have anybody, but they have something powerful to say. And, and for me, that that's all that matters. Like, let's let's get them out there. Let's get them. Let's get them heard. So let me ask you before we have, before we gotta go. Ask, let me. What are some of the current words of encouragement that you have for brothers and sisters behind the wall to, to keep their head up and how to stay positive? Oh man, stay, stay, keep your eye on the prize. Remember what your talent is, and and know there's always a way to get to it. Put God first, because I, I I've been realizing that a lot lately. Recognize what God is, and understand that. You know, we have a saying now, ops, right? The ops. We right. stand for opposition, right. right? But for people right. incarcerated, they got to remember that God turns opposition into opportunities. So use your Absolutely. opportunities. Use your opportunities. Stay Look. blessed and bless others and you'll be fine. That is absolutely the truth. And again, I really appreciate you stepping up. A lot of people who, who are out there will be able to hear. And, and anybody who has somebody that's incarcerated, I encourage you, man, to follow this as a path, follow our path, man, to just provide platforms, no matter how small or how big, to let people know that they're not forgotten. I always encourage people sometimes, man, let's, you know, send five or six cards to some people randomly, just say, keep your head up. They just don't know how, how important that is to people to hear. Just Absolutely. get a call for somebody to say, thank you. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, Absolutely. Man, Absolutely. Absolutely. So, so, yeah, sis, so we definitely going to do this again once you done turn a couple of little books into movies. We got to do it then, you know what I mean? Because then they going to be blowing up Hampstead Publishing and Hampstead Films. Absolutely. 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 Absolut
That's what's up. <laughs> you you right. gonna be my mentor. You gonna have to be my mentor. You now. Always, you already know, bro. You already know. Since it's family all the way around the board, man. We building a nation here, man. So, That's like you said, we not advantaged, but we about to turn. We gonna change the game, man. We gonna, we gonna being born black is gonna be the new thing to be. Word up. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Again, I appreciate your love. I appreciate your support. This is Dutch. It's Sue Hampstead signing out for Prison Ride Radio. Keep your heads up. Peace.